How the bloody hell are you? Uh, my name is Nathan, and uh, together with Rob, uh, Zwift Games Champion Bane, and Mr. Andrew Hutto Hudson, welcome to In The Drops, a Zwift-centric weekly podcast where we discuss the world of indoor cycling, racing strategies, hints and tips for both new and expert riders alike. In this week's show, we check in on my FRR campaign. Our guest this week is YouTuber and Zwift racer David Hyvey. Uh, the Sunday roast returns with a cabin cycling video. And this week's quiz is how well do you know your Zwift insiders? So it's time to get out of the saddle and in the drops. Hey boys, oh, that worked really well. That was, that was a good one. Rob, Andrew, straight into it. Get in there. Um, no, that's that's very good. Um, uh, boys, Andrew, how's your week been? Rob, and how's your week been? You didn't win. Oh, hang on. One second, sorry. We've just been told that uh, we can't hear anyone else. Can't hear anyone else but Nathan. Hang on one second, guys. Minor. Uh, probably. Maybe. Hang on. Uh, let's get Andrew there. Oh, what have I done there? I think um, he's just deliberately done that, Rob, so he can't, you know, it's all about him. Yeah, revenge for last week. It, yeah, it, yeah. Is, about, it is all about me. Center of attention. That's right, <laughs> All right, uh, there we go. So, can uh, Lee, you were so wonderful in telling me about that. Can you hear uh, Rob and Andrew now? Yes, Lee, can you hear us now? That's better, they say. <laughs> ah, so, Rob, you, you were saying you were smashing the Zwift cycling thing, the racing games. Do you just want to repeat that? I, I, <laughs> what on earth sort of attempt at a sentence was that? No, I have. <laughs> everyone else has been smashing it. Um, everyone's been doing this Zwifty maneuver. We've had, well, I mean, Kaminsky did the elite Zwifty a couple of weeks ago. RT yep. did it again in prime time in the A race. Um, Peter uh, Twig's been doing loads. Uh, Taylor Zwift, Taylor Zwift, one of my you know, like Discord members for m months, I never even heard of the Zwifty maneuver on Tuesday, and now he's won it five times. I think it's just like <laughs> doing it twice a day, basically. <laughs> like, you're like a world expert on the Zwifty maneuver. Uh, so that's been pretty awesome. Uh, I did the Catio last weekend. And yeah, I'm feeling fully healthy again. My, all my luggage yep. stuff is gone. All the, all the crap has been yep. brought back up, I think. Uh, okay, so you're back to being fighting I'm feeling today, full yeah? health. Yeah, and I'm sorry to go on for ages. Um, so, but uh, yeah, Andrew, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I uh, unfortunately haven't been on the bike at all this week. I've been very busy with my students and we've been doing the uh, National Subs and Schools Comp, as I mentioned last week. So I've been flat out doing that. Uh, can report, though, that we have won the championship. My boys got through and uh, we cleaned up. So, yeah, kaboom. Oh, oh well done. That's awesome. Yeah, we've got a video, how you a video later it. on. Yeah, we've got a video later on for that. Yeah. Um, Simon, um, Evo, Marky Mark, uh, Georg, I saw a cabin in there. Hey guys, thanks for all dropping by. Um, and uh, I just wanted to say, uh, yeah, so this morning I had to go into work to get my laptop uh, power supply at 4 a.m., um, which is never fun to do. But you know what the best thing about going into work at 4 a.m.? The roads are empty. No, there's no traffic, it's yeah. just golden all the way through. Yep, great so, light city. Yeah, what's normally a I, I get hour... three fifteen on a Monday to go to London. I get the yeah. four seventeen train to to London, <laughs> so and it's not much well, to do, but at least I'm getting paid for it. Yeah, I wasn't getting paid for it, but uh, no, it was uh, what normally takes me an hour and fifteen, hour and twenty, it took me thirty minutes. It was great. Oh, that's such, um, such a good feeling, though, isn't it? <laughs> and then like you get one set of lights, and you're going, "Who's that bastard that's in the set of lights?" <laughs> Yeah. Um, all right. Hey, look, we do have a lot to talk about. We've got um, little bits of news pieces all over the place. Um, I think we should, uh, we'll get David in and uh, introduce him and get him on the show. What do you think, guys? Fantastic idea, mate. Yeah. I've Dave. got a little intro there. Hi, 
David Hivey. Because... All right, David, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Uh, excellent. Fresh in, I believe. Yeah. Which <laughs> did you fill up this Which time? Oh, okay. And in and oh, we can't hear David. Oh, far out, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Hang on. Jolly Roger. Where's uh, where's David's mic? We can hear David, uh, but oh yeah, I see. Missed it. Am I good? Uh, yeah, should be good. Rewinding, they right? say. Hi, David. Um, welcome to the show. Hey, David. Welcome to the show. <laughs> so, you've been racing in the 5v5. How's that been? Painful. Yeah, it was good. Attack after attack. Yeah, they're pretty much the most fun you can have on Zwift, I think, aren't they? So, yeah, it was great. <laughs> and so, which category? I think I was asking, which category are you in? Uh, B category. Oh, so it's nice and spicy. Yeah. Although, 5v5 is no category, isn't it? So, it's kind of the Zwift racing app thing and then you go in a team with a three like a three category spread and then you just race against others so if okay. you win you go up and if you lose the the team yeah. below yeah. you jumped you but you do try and stack the team so you've got equal amounts of cat riders for the team you're racing though do you or I do you just, yeah. 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 yeah yeah mainly for your own purposes because if you didn't do that the riders at the bottom get dropped in about two minutes <laughs> yeah yeah exactly Rob have you done 5v5 yet? No, I haven't. No, uh, no one wants to be on the team. Uh, <laughs> Is that because you slam everyone for not doing a good enough job? No, it's because uh, I think they think I'm a cheat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's because you know you're right. No, some well people off. do, but I, I, it, it's awkward timing. And but I, does it Mondays people tend to do them? But it's on Monday today. Can be any time. Anyway, uh, the times that people do them. Uh, okay, no one wants me basically, but uh, yeah, I haven't been able to do it on the teams that have wanted me. I haven't been able to do it, but I would like to do it at some point, definitely. But also, I'm quite highly rated, and I'm a lot. You know, I'm overrated on Swift Racing app because people have helped me to win races that I wouldn't have otherwise won. So I'm like a, I don't know, I don't know was it Ruby? I think I am, and I'm not Ruby. Ruby. I'm no Ruby. You're I don't a diamond. To be that. You're, you're a bit of a Ruby. <laughs> yeah. Certainly no lump of coal. Yeah. Yeah, that's more than uh, Yep. All right, so let's um, crack on. We've got a lot of things to talk about. Uh, FRR, so let's just get that out of the way really quickly. Um, so I've, I've, up to, I've been doing the FRR series. Uh, I'm up to stage 13, Ooh. I think, which is uh, we're doing New York. So that's I'm doing that almost straight after this show at, uh, at 10.30 a.m. here in Melbourne. So um, that's been going well. Um, Mate, that is an unbelievable achievement. That really is. Mm -hmm. I, I just can't okay. imagine the, the pain and suffering you must be going through. I just, I was just on Darren Van Ditt's stream. He's doing New York at the moment. Yeah, yeah. And it looks like, I mean, he is a tough guy. He's, you know, he's a, you know, a really hard marathon runner. And, you know, and it's just, it looks like he's broken him. I think he's broken him. It's that hard. He's, I did a week. I, I've just got him. such respect for anyone who does this. Yeah. It's been, um, it's, well, I've got to say, the first week or so it was hard. Um, I think it's probably more the used to getting raced, like riding, racing every day. And then, and it's not just short races, like, you know, 15, 20, 25 Ks. These are like minimum 35, 40 Ks each. Um, yeah. With, yeah. A bunch of, um, with a bunch of climbing in it. So what we're seeing on the screen there is stage, I don't know, I looked at before, stage 11. So this is the highlights. Uh, so this is the Royal Pump Room 8 route, which you did about one and a half laps of. And um, this, I think, was the first, the second race I won uh, in a row uh, where I actually started to feel confident and, um, and capable of, of trusting myself. So this is a Yorkshire Com. This is the points race. And so I heard your voice in my head. I dropped right back for the FTS. And oh, um, nice. and then came through. So there's June just passing there. Yeah, because I mean, on on this, there's virtually no there's virtually no draft there anyway, is there? So you may yeah. as well be way back. Yeah, yeah the keys. I to mean, any I know time, ben, right? ben would be you know at the back 
but maybe not if it's an FTS section. That's not bad at all, I don't think. And then, you know, so even though these, is this the same segment? Same segment, so it's just getting to the banner. Yeah, this is the end of it. So, yeah. so they're it's coming June. up to the end, and li little do they know that you've already got three seconds on them because yeah. you're way off the back. <laughs> yeah. Although, nice. uh, in in this particular case, thank you, Mr. Producer, Miss Producer. Um, in this particular case. Um, uh, Alan, who's on my left there, who I've been racing against for like the last three races, um, did did actually get me. He he managed to um, put some effort at the end there. Um, that's not Alan Reed, the... is it? Sorry, no, that's not Alan Reed, is it? No, Alan uh, Turnbull. Oh. Turnbull. Turnbull. Oh right, yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. Not... So we're yeah. in Jalapeno. Uh, this is the Yorkshire uh, uh, Yorkshire Com Reverse. Yeah, so I've been racing with June as well. Um, uh, the pop band climb, man, this is hard. Yeah, I think she was really just... looking forward to getting her first um, first win. She was hoping like some friends would help her out to get her first win. Did you yeah. did you help her across I... the line? Um, in a way. <laughs> That's a no. That's a death. <laughs> Every was, man for uh, himself. I was trying to get in front to lead her across the line, and yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, and he apologize. smashed her, crushed her <laughs> hopes right on the line. I apologise. I apologise, June. I, I just didn't. I didn't. Yeah. Sorry. I thought because then Rob turned around later on and said, "Oh, so did you help June with her first win ever?" And I went, "Oh, no. I'm not sure. That's quite true." But... Yeah. I showed her where uh, the finish line was in the first place. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. It was a team effort. Uh, sometimes you know you just go do what you can. <laughs> <laughs> Simon Jenkins he goes Nathan's never helped me either win so yeah, yeah. he's like but that Simon I, so this race uh, sorry this is a short um, oh, Mark Milton who is a, a friend of the show and a big fan that's him in the green there so he's in um, the level up for my, me I don't know which it is um, but we're pacing back up the, the course there and it was just perfect we're just seeing in this perfect line and then um, Alan was also, yeah, he was definitely trying to push the front and I was having to watch out for him. But this is the first race I've enjoyed in forever. Um, That's good. Where it, was, it was just, you know, it was backwards and forwards. There was a lots of pushing, um, you know, Alan attacking like this and just well, having the legs there. Man. I was trying to. It just wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it just didn't get you as soon as you got to 17 watch you were like oh no that's enough I'll, I'll... <laughs> and i tried it again i think i tried it again here no i didn't um so this is uh, another attack so and like later in the race look we've got like four k's to go and we're sort of i'm still pushing the front i was just really happy about that it was really good so and but then the end is uh let's um did i tell you i got married in harrogate yeah only about 14 times Every time, every time the Harrogate route comes on, yeah, it comes up. <laughs> Where's that? The tea room? rooms. Yeah. What's that, David? Yeah, Betty's Betty's tea room. Do you get married there? Yeah, oh, just opposite, actually. So, oh, hang on. So check this out, Rob. I think you're going to be really proud of me on this one. So I stuck right on Alan about um, five hundred meters from the finish, and I'm waiting nice. and I'm waiting and I'm waiting, and he gets into a super tuck. About now. Fifty-seven. There we go. And then the bomb that passed him, I knew it was going to take him a few moments to spin up again. Yeah, nice. Well done. Oh, nice. yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. And then look at that class. He yeah, he's never going to get it. Oh. He's never going to get it. Anyway, there we go. Oh, no. Kaboom! So, it's, been, um, it's been a good series so far. So I think I'm sitting at 20th on GC for Jalapeno, and I'm sitting 6th. Uh, for the green Can we jersey. not just call it Giappolino? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's now, it's now Giappolino for the rest of it. Giappolino. So you've climbed about 10 spots since I think we did the show last week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, I think I started out like in 47 spots. Yeah. And now I'm up to 20th. So, But as Rob said, well, as I was sort of lamenting, thinking, well, people are just dropping out and that's why I'm, I'm climbing. And look, to be fair, there's a bit of that going on. Uh, but as Rob said... It's the game. So if you can't, yeah. if you can't do it, then you're not. You know, it's, that's the way it works. Yeah, you've so, lost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you still gotta write it. Yeah, that's exactly it. So, um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, tonight, today, uh, very quickly finishing up on this is, um, as I said, is the New York um, Rising Empire. I think it is. 
So we get to do the New York Com like four times. Um, oh, wow. And then the Quatch Quest is the Queen Sage. And so that's the Epic Com followed by the Alpha Swift. Isn't that so, one 1,700 meters of climbing? Yeah. Lucky you like climbing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually I'm getting good at it now. Did the ITT up Leith Hill. Yeah. Took off 30 seconds. So, yeah. There they go. Yeah, they're so. a bit bigger than Leith Hill, though. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Anyway, that, that's my little um, FRR update. Uh, I do have a question. Hey, I don't want to go into this too long, but um, do you think... No, I don't know. And, and, shush. Uh, David, this is probably... Because <laughs> you, you're, you're being active in the FRR Discord channel. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, in terms of the domestic stuff. Do I yeah, pronounce that right? Yeah. And there's been a bit of discussion about that. I had a question about you know being in slower FRR races and whether that sort of favours you uh, into, or favours the rider in terms of bonus, like sprints and bonus points. But actually what I really want to talk about is the domestic discussion that's been going on. And hmm. so basically what um, the discussion has been about is uh, higher cat uh, riders are coming in and supporting the lower cat riders in, in different races and blowing races apart and you know applying all these tactics. And so the discussion has been about, well, is that really in the spirit of the, of the races and the rides to do that? Or is it completely legitimate and a tactic of racing? What do you think? I don't know. It's a really tricky one, isn't it? Because um, this round I acted, uh, so on Tuesday I acted as a domestic for one of the girls in our team. Um, and it was brilliant. I'll talk about that a bit in a minute. Uh, but last time I had three or four riders acting as domestics for me. So helping me try and get away, um, we did blow up a race a little bit, but the guy in who was in first that we ended up taking two minutes out of, he was the first person to post and reply to that domestic thing saying that he loved it. He thought it was absolutely brilliant um, and he loved the challenge of it and thought it was great. So actually the person that was probably going to be the most annoyed about it really enjoyed it. So I don't know, it's a tricky one, isn't it? Because mm. everyone, it's, it's different, but it's the only time you get to do it. And if you're yeah. coaching or acting as a domestic for someone else, then actually the amount of, I did it for Carmen on Tuesday and she thought it was amazing. Like mm. she learned so much from it. So, so, yeah. so do, you th do you think then the domestics should be riding at the same pace and power as the category they're in? I think the tricky one is when they drop down from a higher category, then they go mm. on the front of the peloton, doesn't it? Um, mm. Cause I had a discussion about this on Tuesday cause I did it a little bit, but I only did it when there was a domestic in group two who was trying to bring their rider to catch us up. So then I went on the front of group one to try and keep group two away. Um, was that the right thing to do? I don't know. That was the bit yeah. where it was a discussion about it and I was quite happy to say no and then I wouldn't do it again, but it was yeah. definitely enjoyable. Andrew, what do you think? Yeah. Well, I think it's, I don't know. If it was me, I'd probably be a bit sore if I had people that were dropping down to help out. I think that's a, maybe a little bit of an unfair advantage. But then if you had like strongest riders within your category that were doing that, I would probably wouldn't have a problem with that so much. But hmm. I don't know. It's, that's a tricky question, as you say. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we the... Rob? Sorry, Rob? Sorry, I thought I was banned from the discussion. I, I stopped speaking. No, no, I was about to ask you. <laughs> I just want to spend a lot of time on um, so. What are they all moaning about? Man alive, it's not like you can't get on David's wheel, is it? If if the person that you can help him can get on the wheel, then they can get on the wheel as well. Jesus. Man up. Come on. <laughs> You're FRRs. Bloody hell. Yeah. Uh, I think the main bit for us was we had a big inter-team discussion before I got guys to help me about whether it was appropriate or not. Yeah. Um, and we had a big Facebook discussion about it in the team and we looked through the rules. We asked the guy that organized it, is it okay? And he said, yes. Um, and we discussed it mm. and there were people with differing opinions and overall the opinion for that, that race was it's different to all the others and it was okay. Um, yeah. but I can see the yeah. argument that if you're blowing up a race, then it's a bit dodgy. Yeah. yeah. I think the only, yeah. I think the only problem is whingy bloody cyclists, just whingy, whingy, whingy. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. It's not in the rules. It's the, the rules are there, and, and you're following the rules. Being bloody out. the spirit of cycling. What a crap! <laughs> Get on the wheel. Uh, Come on. FRR uh, chat is a yeah, FRR chat is a massive wine fest. Says uh, AJ. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so yeah. when I did the the last series of FRR, 
there was about four guys in atom spacing i think that were doing were doing that and uh, that worked really well in terms of i basically did what rob said i just hung on to that tried to hang on with those four guys the whole way around yeah and then that was that my race and me oh, i don't know it was in uh, was, scotland was somewhere. it in k was it in no, k it's, no no okay so it wasn't us it was someone else yeah, yeah was, as well yeah Jeppelino. Jeppelino. and um well, that, that hosed me on some of the point sections and stuff like that, but that always, because they slow down a bit, that to get their rider back on, I'd be able to grab back to that group and be still keep with that group all the time. So it actually held quite well with them. So, yeah, I can see your Rob's point. Then, you know, if you can hang on to them, yeah, it helps out. Shut the hell up then, hey? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's really tricky to do well as well. It's, I find it really, really hard. If I'm trying to lead someone out into a sprint, I have to mm. switch my camera angle and then try and stay within two bout yeah. lengths of somebody who's sprinting and yeah. doesn't have the same sprint profile that I have to try and stay with them was, mm. God, yeah, it was, it was, I was, yeah, I find it yeah, really hard. I latched skill. onto the wrong art rider at one point. I pulled along Linny, who was, which was lovely, but that was the wrong rider. I wasn't going to be helping Carmen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know if you saw it ages ago, but we tried to get, um, we tried to get uh, Ray Condon, uh, Ryan, uh, his first win. Ryan Condon, <laughs> Ryan. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I I ended up dragging the 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 wrong group away from him because I, I didn't know it. I was like, right, come on, let's get on the front. Now's the time to go. I, was, I had like five riders dragging the whole like sixty riders away from him. Oh man! All right, um, moving on. The, the big spin. So that's been something that um, everyone's been enjoying. Um, Rob, you're talking about uh, the the big spin hack. For getting um the kit yeah well first of all everyone as i predicted last week everyone is loving it it just seems like like zwift has got mad basically i mean the zwift games mm. are still busy but yeah. the big spin everyone's on it and i suppose it's because it's a group ride um Not maybe right. people are like getting ready for the season you know it, it's it's not quite nice enough to like ride outside in europe for a lot of us but uh, it never is for me but um <laughs> the uh, yeah, I think maybe everyone's you know getting their bikes, getting ready, you know, thinking, oh, I need to get fit. And yeah, the big spin, everyone, you know, the the horrible uh, looking bike, everyone's trying to get that, even yeah. though it's the slowest, second slowest bike in Zwift. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I think this meme's a beauty, isn't it? I think it went mad on uh, Reddit. Um, mm. Yeah, and uh, a few people have noticed that uh, you don't have to, you don't have to do the ride to get the um to get the spin to have a chance at winning the bike or the the wheels so uh you can late join Apparently like half an hour or 29 minutes and, into uh, it yeah so this is eric Lees. You can late... yeah and the the current race is a oh, ride sorry is oh, it's one in mercury i can't remember what it's called but uh i've tried it a couple of times like just on my phone and it, yep. it, if you get lucky, you can drop you in like at the top of the hill just before the finish. <laughs> so you can just, <laughs> you can even just log in. And uh, I haven't got it yet. I, I've been dropped in at about three k to go, so that's not enough if you're not pedaling at all. But you know, if you're just on your bike, if you're you know just three kilometers and you get to get the spin, so people hey, are just hey, like logging in every half an hour and trying to get the spin. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be awesome because uh, Sharon. So Sharon has been doing the big spin and. Uh, her first ride, she got the wheel set, so she was quite happy about that. And then, because everyone else was complaining about the, how the, the shoes and the gloves and stuff like that. Uh, and then uh, she did a couple more times and then got the wheel set again. And now she's getting frustrated because she hasn't gotten the bike yet. So when I tell her about oh, yeah. this, she's going to love it. Cause and I think what you can it. also do, I think what you can also do is after you finish the B race, which is the shorter one, yeah. You can log into the A race, or if you've yeah. already pre-registered or some something like that, yeah. then you can finish the A race as well. So you can get the oh, spin for the spin the B, for the B the race, the, the spin for the A race, <laughs> and then you know if you've done the full ride, I don't know. People are getting like three spins an hour or four spins an hour or something. So were we looking at anything in particular on Eric's video? No, I was just talking about that basically. He's got the yeah. details if you if you want to know more in his video. Uh, we'll put a link well, everyone can find. His... Yeah, his channel. Yeah, everyone, everyone can find Eric Lee's video, can't yeah. they? <laughs> so, yeah. so um, what, what's that wheel set like, Nathan? Because I've heard reports it's not that flash. 
Oh, look, I mean, I don't know. I, no one's done any real work on it yet to see if it's any good. Rob? Rob? <laughs> Yes, yes. Uh, lots of work has been done on it. <laughs> yeah, who? On the wheel set? And it's, yeah, on the wheel set. And the wheel set is, is wrong. They've done it wrong. So they've oh. made it like the worst ever wheel set or something, like super heavy. But oh. it's just a mistake and they're going to correct it on the next release, I think. Zwift Insider oh. did a post on it, didn't they? They said it was like terrible. <laughs> so bad. Yeah, but also that it, it was, it's a mistake by Zwift and they're going to correct it. Yeah. yeah, so then it should okay. be reasonable. Ish. Reasonably good then. Yes. Okay. Yep. Um, and Zwift Insider did. Eric did do a uh, a post on the the Atomic Cruiser. And you are correct. I think it's the shittiest bike besides the Buffalo bike. <laughs> it's got like. Um, but it makes uh, up for two... it looks. <laughs> yeah. It's got two stars for the aero and two stars for weight. So it is. It is a bag wait. of shit. Sorry? I can't believe the I can't believe the aero is not not high rated higher than that. Oh, you just what you'd want it to be, wouldn't you? But I mean, maybe well, with yeah. all that that metal, I guess I don't know if it, how aerodynamic that really is. But um, yeah, yeah. So I think certainly I can still hear doing... Eric, by the way. Oh yeah, hang on. Yeah, we can't still hear him. Yeah, he's he's just yakking away in the background. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Um, yeah, I guess it was if it was good, then you know everyone would be using it. But uh, yeah, with all that metal, who can say? But uh, yeah, there you go. It's the same as the Buffalo bike. We can never hear Eric. <laughs> oh, maybe I, maybe I messed that up too. Um, yeah, so there we go. That's the hack. I think Sharon's going to love to hear that. Um, so there's Rift Games update, Rob. You've um, you've sort of been following along with this. Yeah, I've been loving it, actually. I didn't watch much of the men's race, but if we start with the women's race, uh, I've put a little video in there. Yes, you have. And um, it was quite long, but the coverage was great. And um, they had two pri prims in there. Um, I think it was both up Titans, or maybe it was one up here and one up Titans. And so they gave, gave $1,000 for that and... Uh, uh, yeah, people really went for that. I suppose you would, wouldn't you? You may as well. Mm. One of them went all in for it, and you know had to drop out of the peloton after it. But this was quite exciting. At the end, the coverage was awesome. By the way, all this, you know, all the all the leads and all that stuff. They they had good commentators on. This, yep. uh, I think she's genuinely Ukrainian. Actually, uh, went off the front at the bottom, and then. Uh, who is it who follows her? I think it was uh, Bates. Uh, Bates makes a move to um, catch her, and then yeah, Lou. Is it is it Lou? I can't read it. Sorry. Uh, yeah, and so Fura won the first race, and she's a sprinter. So she. I don't suppose people were expecting her to win, but um, yeah, Lou Bates um, mm. takes it on, and then. As they approach this corner, they've kind of, you've, there's kind of five of them in it, I suppose. Uh, you've got Gera. Uh, is it Van? I, I can't read it. Sorry. Uh, Kolchinski, uh, Kostintern, and Führer at the back, yeah. cleverly. And Führer's in the gold tron from the you know that you won on the first race, so that's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah, and there's oh. kind of four four battling out there, and you see Führer just takes the right wheel at the right time. See that she just gets on the wheel and sort of pushes the others out of the way, uh, mm. much to you know much to her advantage. And then she uses a feather quite early compared to the others, which I think is a good idea. You know, use it when the, the, the gradient's the highest. Yeah, yeah, I think Gera may use maybe uses her a bit hers a bit late yeah she didn't use it till here like halfway up the hill and she's already lost the wheel she'd lose it used it a bit earlier i reckon she might have had the wheel but yeah then Führer, who is a sprinter takes off when it gets to the flat and you know, obviously gara's used most of her matches getting getting on her <clears throat> just getting back to the wheel and uh yeah Führer just um just accelerates away even though gara's still got a feather going the, there's not enough yeah. gradient for it to have much of an effect but yeah it was great um and as i said the coverage was great other than they don't show you the bunch sprint afterwards so that one was all right because you know they were kind of all together but um 
let's let's have a look at the men's and the men's is men's is awesome uh it's, it's not as exciting in a way because um <laughs> one guy just um kind of takes it on and i don't know what this guy's playing at you know there's like using all these matches on the flat bit at the bottom is like hoping that he's gonna everyone's gonna let him get away <laughs> but uh the yaks have done been doing pretty well overall actually um uh, this guy, Nicky Hug, had been making attacks left, right, and center, like all through the, um, all through Titans, I think, and on the approach through the S's to this. So he's just, you know, again, just why, why there? I don't know, but I suppose that if that's his only chance, that's his only chance. He obviously didn't trust himself on the sprint, or maybe he's, he, he, I think he's from Next Ensure, so maybe he was working for a teammate. Um, anyway, and then Tugles. Tugles, the pro, uh, uh, is the first one to make an attack on the on the hill, and off he goes. And then this young Neil Fryette, um, sort of has quite a lot of ground to make up to. You know, there's quite a big gap between the peloton, but yeah, it's most effective there, isn't it? That's if we were if we were racing, we would wait until the corner, wouldn't we? But Tugles oh, yeah. has got you know three seconds. And that's yeah, why the we're not pros. Yeah. Sorry, that's why we're not pros, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he, did, he doesn't win. But Hugs kind of bringing. Look at Fryette; he's got twelve already. This is after eighty k. Um, yeah, so this Fryette guy is an absolute, you know, just a, a unit him. of a man. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Yeah, yeah. And he just, you know, Look just eats up. up this pro yeah, yeah. seven. You know, it's kind of game blocks, over already, isn't it? You knew it was over here, really. You know, he's made up that much ground, and he—I don't know if he deliberately eased off so he could get some, uh, get some draft on the corner, but he barely does. He's doing nine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and then yeah, Here's here the he comes now, and yeah. you with the feather, and game rolls. over. Yeah, yeah, that is proper game over, isn't it? Yep. Won it by a country mile. And but unfortunately, so if you see uh, Josh is I don't know Josh isn't even on the on the leaderboard at the moment. He's not in the top ten. But you don't get to see. Oh, there he is. He just flew up to seventh, doing twelve watts per kilogram. Josh is in seventh, so he's mm. got a great battle going on with him, between him and Thrall, and this possibly decides the overall for the whole bloody thing. And you know the the leader goes through. Like oh, we see him cruising down the hill a bit. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, can we see the bunch sprint? Can we please see the bunch sprint? No, we can't. Oh, well, let's go to Titans Grove. What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the finishers. So, yeah. so, Josh, if you put the the leaderboard up for the men, uh, it's slide two, I think it's called. Um, oh, okay. Let me get that up. Oh, I'll my camera it. keeps going out of focus. Uh, so, Josh, it's a point system. So, on the first. So the sprints all count as you know, one race, the because uh, obviously it went to a final. Then the epic counted as one race, and the the climb on Saturday is going to count as one race. And Josh came fifth in both the sprint and the um, the uh, the epic. So he's only got the climb left, and you'd fancy him in that. Yeah. Um, someone like Freddie Ovet, I think. I mean, I don't know that much about it, to be honest. I think Ekert's quite a climber, but he's got a lot of ground to make up, hasn't he? And mm, yeah. mm. If someone told me Josh was going to win it, I wouldn't be surprised, would you? Yeah, no. 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 I was, I wasn't uh, so, yep. So, yeah, he's looking good for the win to me. I mean, I don't know that much about it. Someone, you know, he might be crap compared to the others, for all I know, but I doubt it. <laughs> Because I was just checking out um, Josh's profile on um, on Zwift Power, uh, Zwift Power on the Zwift Racing app, and uh, yeah, so you can see that that last win there in race three, um, big numbers. Oh, we but finally got I... the two hundred and fifty point thing. Oh no, it's three hundred points that you need to get for the top prize, isn't it? Blimey! But then look at the. I was just admiring his um, his overall graphs here. So that's his, yeah. His, he's the yeah, best at everything. Yeah, he's just the phenotypes, a hundred percent across the board. And then I was looking at his uh, ninety-day power, Make and it's that. just yeah, on everything. <laughs> that's incredible. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, uh, yeah, no. So we really do hope um, we've had Josh on the show before. Great friend of the show. And we wish him the best of luck with it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I generally wouldn't watch a, a, a race up the Alp, but I think it might be quite exciting. You know, you've got mm. the overall and the individual to go for, and the we women's know... I think is even more <laughs> Do we up know for when, grabs because um, uh... the when the race is. Can we find um, it out? We'll try and dig it out in the, I, video I, in the description below. The link in the description yeah, below. yeah. I mean, I did. I have watched them, but I can't remember when I watched yeah. them. But. Um, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. Führer obviously has won the first two of the women's. If you want to put slide one up, it shows the women's stand-ins. Uh, but I, she says she's not much of a climber. I don't know much about it. I mean, she seemed to do all right there, but it was quite a small climb. Um, so, yeah, that might be a bit more up for grabs. I think Gera mm. is probably a better climb, like significantly better. Mm. Belfort's looked awesome, but she's quite far behind. Uh, yeah, so I think this one may be a bit more up for grabs. Yep. Yeah, but it kind of complicates things because some people might have just come in for the final event, you know, yeah. like they're only climbers. So they might just do it and take some of the top points away. So that might yeah. complicate that, I don't know. Oh, well, we'll have to watch and find out. Mm-hmm. But it sounds, it's been great, it, it sounds like it's been great, though. Yeah, it sounds like it's been really good. Um, and no, I haven't been searching. So I'm on the chat here. No, I haven't been searching for teeth. I don't know why those ads come up. <laughs> it's not, it's not my Google searching. Uh, either you or Sharon, mate. Yeah. One of the two of you. <laughs> no, it's definitely not been me searching for teeth. Um, so thank you. Yes. Yeah. So again, yeah. We oh, that, that would be good, wouldn't it? Simon Jenkins has said that they should do a handicap race. So based on you know the number of points that you're ahead, that's how much head start you should get on the mm. on the Alp to to make it finish like mm. an exciting oh. finish. Oh, so yeah, whoever crosses know. the line first wins. Yeah. Okay. So we we uh, our group does that a handicap race. It's never yes. been a very exciting finish, but um, oh, it's not bad. Yeah, that... I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Uh, hey, transition. There we go. <laughs> um, so we talked about the Atomic Cruiser. Oh, uh, Thomas's um, Zwift Insider article. Yeah, so I think it kind of, I don't think we actually talked about it much at the time, but do you remember mm. when I was off in Leeds uh, drinking gallons of beer? Yes. Um, and not Thomas, the show. Yeah. Thomas was um, uh, taking part in the Danish National Esports Championship. He was uh, in the age graded uh, event, uh, 40 to uh, 50 year olds, which he only just qualifies for. Mm-hmm. And yeah, he did awesome. So um, we were all following him in a, my Discord group as yep. he did the qualifiers and he prepared for the final. And obviously, it was a really big thing for him and and for our group. We were all like yeah, getting involved to the extent that we could. And you know, he did this. He did this uh, ridiculous diet where he like it's called low residue. So it's clearing out all of the stuff that hangs around in your guts by eating sort of zero fiber foods or something like that. Okay. And it lost like something four four kilograms just like wow. through eating, you know, white bread and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, not pooing basically. Um <laughs> it, it's true. I mean oh no doing loads of poo. Doing loads of poo I suppose. Um all the way around. Um yeah, so uh, I, I won't go on about the poo but I have got it wrong. Um <laughs> Yeah, and he wrote this brilliant article about it in the uh, for Swift Insider, and he did a great video on it. I mean, Thomas has got one of the best uh, YouTube channels around. All his videos are absolute quality, not like the crap I put up. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, go and check out the article. Go and check out Thomas Sorensen's video. We'll put a link in the description. It yep. was truly awesome, and you know, just to see someone who, you know, I think he was just a commuter, and you know, he's played yes. a bit of football. Yes. He's a fit, fit guy and stuff. But then, you know, like many of us, he got on Zwift a few years ago and found himself, you know, being quite good. Uh, I beat him in a race a couple of years ago, which I don't let him forget about. I beat him up a hill as well. Beat him up Box Hill uh, only about a year ago. And then now he's a, a you know, he's, he's a black belt, A plus rider kind of guy. And, you know, he's in his national championships. It's pretty awesome, eh? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's fantastic. It's always great to see that kind of thing, isn't it? When you see someone start out this. Yeah. And um, and just you know progress up and through and and then they start taking on all these challenges. 
Yeah, and, nice he, and he made a go for it as well. Sorry, mm. sorry, Andrew. Oh, I was just saying, like, he's such a nice guy. Like, you, you know, he's always there in your chats too if you're live streaming yeah. and stuff like that to give you yeah. or you give yeah, him the comment yeah. here and there. So, yeah, he's a, he's a good good bike. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and because it wasn't a, it uh, is not much of a sprint. You know, I say not much of a sprint. He's a better sprinter than me, but he's, he's not. He, you know, compared to these guys, he's not much of a sprinter. Uh, he made a go for it as well on the hill, and he got a twenty second lead with a lap and a half to go. It was awesome. Wow! And you know, he didn't quite hold it, but he he bought it on it basically because he didn't think he could make it. But uh, yeah, the article goes into that, and it's all awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's awesome. Yeah. So we'll definitely put the link in the description below. Uh, go and check him out uh, if you haven't subscribed to his channel. Go and do that and um, drop him a comment on his videos. He'll love it. Yeah. All right. Uh, just looking through my list here. Um, uh, should yeah, we ask David so some more questions? I was just about to say that. We're at the point now where we're going to have a chat with David and find out what makes him tick. So, David, how did you get into Zwifting? Uh, it was actually one of my mates just before lockdown started just sent me a message. I basically said I was struggling to get fit. Um, and he sent me a message saying, uh, just have a go at this. It's like playing a game while doing exercise. And I looked at it, thought that was really cool. Spent two and a half grand on a Watt bike and um, started up the next day, or well, as soon as it arrived. <laughs> but you do have quite a quite a, a background in sports, though. You're not, uh, not uh, unknown to competition. No, just unknown to fitness, which is why I've never really got as high as I should have done. <laughs> um, so yeah. Oh dear. So yeah, I found this. <laughs> I didn't win that one. You oh. didn't? No, no, I came second, I think, or third. I can't remember. But I didn't quite the win. First I, got, loser. I got nominated. The first loser. Which was good enough. <laughs> well, you're only the second best in the country. Oh uh, yeah, that's me. Oh look at that. There we go. So what is that? Laugh? Like, oh, what sort of boat is that? Is that? It doesn't look like it should float. They're really cool. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. quite tricky, but they're brilliant fun. So they've got kind of like aeroplane wings underneath the boat, one at the front, one at the back. And then when you go above about uh, seven knots, about eight miles an hour-ish, nine miles an hour, um, the boat will pick up out the water and then it'll fly. And then obviously your drag just disappears off. So mm. yeah, they can go mm. pretty quick. So, yeah, they're really so what, sp what speeds do they get up to then? 30 knots downwind, so kind of, or just over. You can get to 35-ish if you're really sending it, but we tend not to do that in races because that gets pretty scary. Um, if you're doing that, you're on the borderline of crashing and you're probably quite likely to crash. Quickly, Nathan, Google that. Convert that across I'm, the course. Yeah, I know I'm you doing were. that right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when when so that goes at... <laughs> Sorry. 55 kilometers, an hour, kilometers an hour. Thank you, said 30, 30 yeah. knots, yep. Yep. Mile, knots, yeah. Miles an hour for our American friends. <laughs> oh. uh, not not more than that. So that, that's like 38, 39 mile an hour, I guess. Okay. Yeah, well, Thank I'll you. Just, <laughs> just put Nathan under the pump. And <laughs> when, when, you, when you get up on the hydrofoils like that, does it make for a very smooth ride? I've often wondered about that because like, you then don't have the chop of the waves anymore. So you're sort of floating above that. Does the craft yeah, go it's... a lot smoother in travel? Yeah, as long as you've got your boat set up properly. Um, some people don't, and they bounce around all over the place, which is quite funny to watch. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you've got if you've got your boat set up right, yeah, it's smooth. It's, it's the smoothest sailing you can have. You just sit yeah. there and float around. Yeah, it's really cool. Just cuts through the waves, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless they do, and then you crash. Is there any like uh, crossover between biking, like the understanding <laughs> of like airflow and drafting and stuff like that? Is is it is there much? Uh... I'd probably say, yeah, like concentration wise, yeah. Like Zwift racing is all about concentration, isn't it? Like yeah. If you stay on the back of the <laughs> back of that group all the time, you save as much energy as humanly possible. Yeah. So I'd say there's definitely a concentration thing because if you don't concentrate. Yeah. Nathan was going, focus. yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, it is all about concentration. <laughs> is that how many races he well. lost and looking away from the game? <laughs> oh, yeah. You'll have to uh, get on one of those big maxi yachts. You know, they've got the grinders in there where they're trimming up the sails. And so instead of yeah. pedalling, you'll have, to, you'll have to get your arms into action and get one of those going. Oh, yeah. Loads of them are on Swift. There's, um, yeah, loads of the America's Cup guys are on it as well. Yeah, they love it. Just for the, yeah, for the, the health side of it. Um, and so how long have you been in sailing for? Uh, since I was born. Right. As soon as, I could, as soon as I can get in a boat and jump out the side of it and hit little markers we're past it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, well, yeah, I did. Uh, I, 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 go ahead. I did. Uh, I, I raced against the Ineos uh, uh, Bodin team nice. uh, in in Zwift, though. Yeah, they were still pretty good at Zwifting. <laughs> I, I think uh, those guys are doing 500 watt 20 minutes now. They are, yeah. <laughs> Um, I stayed with them. Oh, I can't remember if I beat one of them or not. I, I did stay with them till the end, but um, I think I maybe beat one of them and one of them beat me. Yeah, can't remember the names now, but I was I was pretty chuffed to be with them. Mm. Pretty cool. Yeah. Um, oh, final question about um, selling David. So those things can't cool. be cheap, can they? Uh, no, 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 they're not. I spend yeah. all my, all my money on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why. That's why I don't have children. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, there you go. Um, yeah, okay. So, you, but you are, uh, as I say, you, you, there is the, you know, the concentration thing. There is the airflow thing, which is, it mm. seems to be like all three of your sports involve the understanding of uh, projectiles going through the uh, <laughs> a, a, a fluid surface, a fluid yeah, yeah. Uh, medium of some kind. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, you, you, you do seem quite analytical in your YouTube stuff on all, all all three counts really does it i suppose i suppose it's just helps does it or it's just is it your personality like to be analytical well i'm also a physics teacher which probably helps a bit with that <laughs> oh really um, <laughs> yeah but yeah, yeah i love i love analyzing things anything with the race i'll analyze everything if i fail it i'll immediately go back over the race look back at the radio see where i went wrong try and work out how i can not go wrong next time so what would you say the difference, main difference is between uh, domestiquing and racing? Um, like the skill difference? Uh, skill difference, I think, was timing. So it's a different thing that you're on the front all the time rather than actually being on the back. Whereas for normal racing, I want to be on the front for as little as humanly possible. I know you do exactly the same thing. Um, for domesticing, you, you're watching that other person. It's actually really hard to concentrate on watching that other person as well as yourself. Um, yeah, it's really good fun though. But mm. I definitely got it wrong quite a few times. Yeah, it's yeah. the kind of it's the kind of thing that just takes practice and practice. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. You, you can't do it with a normal camera angle. Well, maybe you can, but you have to have that little blue distance to rider behind um, mm. thing to make sure that you can see exactly where they are. Because if you get more than three, four, five meters away, then the draft is starting to drop off, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, what was, was what would you yeah, say yeah. is the the key piece of uh, racecraft that uh, or what what would you say is your like the most important piece of knowledge that you've gained? Do as little as humanly possible for every <laughs> part of the race, apart from the bit where you want to blow the race up. Yeah. So either the sprints or a climb when you want to get over the top. I think the most important bit is where you summit a climb. Actually, um, if you've got a short king of the mountain most people will try and summit on the back of the group but i don't think that's the right thing to do you should push harder on the climbs to summit on the front so you rest immediately as soon as you get over the top whereas if you summit near the back you're pushing on to stay or even worse you're just off the back you're pushing to catch back on and that's where most people blow up and lose so aiming to summit top five top ten over the top of the climb or just on the very back of the first little group would be perfect i'd say is mm. the most important bit yeah yeah, yeah. that's makes sense is that small climbs you're talking about so yeah. even like crit city stuff like that yeah a big one i'll get dropped and come last anyway so <laughs> <laughs> we were actually talking about that in our uh, discord group uh, earlier this week thomas uh, asked that question and i said in small groups so he was asking specifically sort of four to eight if you're going to approaching a small climb where do you want to be and i said you still want to be at the back and you know, some others like Paul Dixon and uh, some others were saying, no, I'd, I'd, I'd like to get to the front. And I, it sort of doesn't make sense to me, but because um, you still want the draft when you get to the flat. But I wouldn't want to be last because you tend to find that if you're last, the person that's second to last is struggling a little bit. They yeah. drop off yeah. and then yeah. trying to push past them and latch on is. Yeah. That's the bit that breaks you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose it's more actually the the question was more about going into the hill, like where do you want to be? And um, I think with I, that, I definitely still think I want to be at the back, at the bottom. I'm a big um, advocate for speed into it, so you sorry? pedal harder before you get into it, especially if it's a little short one. You can you can get your speed up before the climb, and you have to do almost nothing going up it. 
Yes, if Bert still beat at the back, I say. Yeah, yeah. But it, that's why the draft bit from Source is really useful as well. You can see percentages because you can go back almost. So I've got it there. You can see on the screen as the percentage in the middle. And you can see... Um, oh, I like that race. I did well on that one. Um, you can see <laughs> no, you the... Um, did I not? Or was that one I thought? This oh, is, is the... this the one I threw up? Oh, no. <laughs> one of the ones you threw no. up. <laughs> oh, no, this isn't a good one. No, oh dear. No, we don't need to watch this one. <laughs> so you tried the, the... This is called the super long heavy metal, Zwifty. Yeah, this is Elite. Work. Elite. <laughs> I got egged on. Do you see all the chat there? There was somebody egging yeah. me on to sprint really, really early, and I, I basically just... You did oh, was it RT? Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, then, and then came 59th. Yeah. It was, it was, oh, what's you your were? best race? What's your best race? It was pretty bad. <laughs> Have you got a best go race on YouTube? Uh, there was a Mad Monday Sea Cat one a little while ago that was really, really good. But that was like a C, um, the C plus one. So it goes just into B. Which is why Mad Monday. Mondays is really good because you get to, if you've been just promoted out of C into B, then you get to race the C plus still. So you get to go a little bit into B. So you still get to be competitive. It's really good. Yeah, I did some of that when I was promoted to A. I was like, oh, oh, I quite like this ooh. category. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't I want to be there okay. yet. Yeah. yeah, they're really good fun. I think I may have found it. I'm just uh, calling it up now. Um... But the AR2 seems. Is it actually a massive team? Is it? Uh, no, there's only 400 more? riders. It's just right. crazily active. So we do a cull actually. So if people don't race, they get booted out, <laughs> um, mm. and they get told when they come in, it's a racing team. You got to participate. And if they don't, then they get asked to participate. And if they still don't, then they get removed from the team because it's oh, just fine. about we just want the active riders to be in there. Um, it used but to. Do, just do you let them have be... some off or? Oh god, yeah, definitely, yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Um, and people take long time off. That's that's different. But if somebody isn't racing at all, then it's kind of not right. the place they for them. The but it's it's really good. The teamwork is is brilliant there. Uh, so we organise like racecraft sessions where we'll get loads of the top riders or the people who tend to get better results, and uh, their racecraft is really good. And they offer help on Discord for loads of others. So we'll watch them do a race, and then we'll pace them around the race and help them with their positioning and when they sprint and things. It's really good fun. Oh, good. That's really good. And so how have you found it with YouTubing then as well, like doing the racing and YouTubing? Um, it's all right, apart from when I look at the screen too much and I get dropped. Um, <laughs> but I don't do it too often. I've got a couple of occasions where I did it. It's a bit sad, really. Um, I quite like it. I did it in the first place to prove I wasn't cheating. <laughs> People oh. thought I was sandbagging. They never, oh. they never saw my sick bucket. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. Um, was there anything I, I in particular quite... that made them think you're a cheat oh, sorry i shouldn't go into that should i well I, but just, it... I just i just won a lot of races but the right. old yeah and it's still the kind of category system where it was based on the 20 minute my endurance yeah. was terrible but my five minute yeah. power was really good so mm. evidently with normal swift races i end up winning a hell of a lot of races but my endurance yeah. was awful it's not much better now but it definitely <laughs> has improved so but i'm enjoying uh, it. did you did you lead over the volcano in this one or uh do I win this one? No, I don't think I do. No, this isn't the one. No, I don't think I win that one. Do. <laughs> right. No. Do you need a good sense of uh, awareness of that? That was a nice lead out you did for them, though. Yeah. Yeah, I think it. Yeah, the one I was talking about was in the, uh, Neo Kyo, I think. Oh, okay. I'll yeah. see if we find it. Sorry, Andrew, yeah. what were you saying? Andrew? Either way, it's fun. No, that's right. I was just going to say, do you need a good sense of awareness when you're uh, domesticing of your teammates, obviously, within the group and stuff like that? And there's source play a really good part in being able to place them within the pack or where they are around you i suppose yeah i think so i think it was quite hard to find her um it was good because we got her to position herself right in the back of the pack and that made it easy because it was basically a, i'm here go right next to me when we're drafting um and then the actual sprint itself that was the tricky bit because uh rob uh, nathan you did a good one earlier actually didn't you where you have to actually to sprint in frr because you mm. sprint and most people don't you have to back off the pack and then yeah, sprint through. Come through. There's and no you, power ups, you wanna yeah. you, you wanna time it so you get as much draft as you possibly can all mm. the way through. And even with a domestic doing most of the work in terms of the sprint, I still want to get as much as I can from other people as well. So we dropped back off the back of the pack and then we sprinted through. It was good. Yeah. There are. What is this one? That looks so I think right. this might be the one. Yeah, that looks a bit right. 
I think I did a 1.1 kilometer sprint on this one, Ouch. which didn't go Ooh, too man. well on Tuesday. That would have been tough. Yeah. Oh, that's a great place to break away. Yeah, Very it's nice. been painful nice towards the end. Nice style as well. Nice dancey style. <laughs> Just I feel like I go too low on cadence. I feel like I go too low on cadence a bit nowadays. Do you know, a, a lot of people, the better they get, the lower their cadence gets. Like, Josh yeah. Harris is, is like down in the, you know, 50s, 60s. Mm. Um, you know, Tugles was down quite low in what I saw as well. A lot of people are out mm. the saddle, you know, a lot more than your average rider. Oh, that's, yeah. you really are keeping the power down, aren't you? Blimey. Yeah. It never seems yeah. enough, the lead, does it? Like, it no, never seems so. enough. Like, you've won it, but I'm still it never feels though. like you've won it, does yeah. it? <laughs> And it always feels like the uh, finishing line is just getting further and further away. That's a great yeah. win. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. yeah nice one. That's awesome. Yeah. No, he it's, didn't um, even use Josh... a bucket. <laughs> yeah. Not that time. No, not right. that time. Uh, right in the zone, though. Um, Josh. Yeah, Josh said that in when we interviewed him. He said that for like he would stand up for seven, eight minutes at a go on on various rides and um, and climbs and just yeah just punch it out that way. So which is just phenomenal if you think about yeah, it. Yeah, I struggle. I really struggle with that. If I stand up for a long period of time, it just my legs blow up, mm. and then I'm done. Yeah, that epic King of the Mountain um, race on the Zwift Games, you did it a few times as well, didn't you, Rob? But um, I tried. I, I attempted that race three times to try and not get dropped, and I got dropped all three times. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I got <laughs> dropped twice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. There we go. And so yeah. you're saying that um, you've been enjoying um, YouTubing because you got yeah, it's really good. Nearly 300 subscribers. Yeah, half of them the... are the kids from my school. <laughs> 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 Captain Homework, kids. watch my videos. Yes, yeah, that's right. Bonus, I literally got messages points. in my last race saying, what score did I get on my test? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get a good have grade you... if you tune into my channel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have you, have you marked them yet? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and so do you, you do spend a bit of time going back and sort of re-watching your own videos? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. quite analytical, so I'll go back and check if I've made mistakes and try and find out where that is. Yeah, yeah. but most of the time it's obvious. You, you know when you've got dropped or you put too much effort in, etc. Yeah. And um, I was going to say, the videos where you um, you, go ahead, you go ahead and sort of, you know, do how you prepare for a Zwift race, how, how, do you enjoy making those? Are they, you know, do, are they, are they well received? What do you think of those? Yeah, I said to you guys before it started, I took like something like 13 attempts to do that one. Uh, three times I forgot to press record and did it. And um, yeah, it was, they're right. They're quite, they're quite good fun. They were more made for the people of art really. Um, so for the Atom Racing okay. team as kind of like a, this is what you do to try and prepare for the race. Because most people don't do anything, which is just madness for me. They just get onto a Zwift race and ride. They don't even know what the course is, when the attack points are, which is just, it's just it's just crazy. You've got to know every single change in gradient when you're doing a Zwift race. Cause, and that's why Source nowadays is amazing, because you get that little map that shows oh, you yeah. exactly where you are at every time. It's um, yeah. That's the best bit that Source have pulled out by a long way. And now that they've got the um, the segments on there as well, that really makes a difference. Yeah, the, for the sprint bit with FRR, that was, with acting as a domestic, that was crazily useful, because mm. you've got the countdown to the sprints in metres, so you know when you've got 100 metres to go to the sprint, that's the point that you nail it yep. so you're going flat out when the sprint starts all right uh hey guess what um we had the return of a segment that we used to do a while back um so for the rob's sunday roast and i've got an awesome intro for this hang on one second guys check this out Now I'm going to take this one on though because I uh, I coaxed uh, Cadman from Cadman Cycling uh, into um, allowing us to use his video, and he's been doing the Zwift games as well. And so, just one moment while I key up his uh, video, which is right here. Uh, and as long time listeners of the show will yep. know, I, I will I will I will jump in as well if you like. But I, <laughs> I watched all of Cadman's I, I watched all of Cadman's videos whenever they came out. I was like his number one fan. So, so, I still try to be, but I you know I've got too many people in my subs my you know 
I subscribe to too many channels now yeah. uh, to listen to watch everyone's. But the the one comment that I make most often to him was like he'd be going around the you know the, the seventh lap of an eight lap of Crit City or something, and he you know he was doing fine, and he'd have an arrow and he'd just dump it like approaching the final <laughs> banner, and I'd be like. Man, why have you unceremoniously? That was the main comment that I used to make to him. Yeah. It was, you've unceremoniously dumped your power up that could have won you the race. <laughs> That's just, yeah. just a little preamble I'll make. So I've said that to him probably half a dozen times. And yeah, he certainly wouldn't know that. Um, and I should and I should add that um, we've had Cameron on the show before. Great friend of the show, awesome guy. He makes yeah. awesome videos too. So <laughs> this is in no way. Enough. He's clearly the, hasn't learned. He's just written in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is in no way us, uh, you know, um, suggesting that he doesn't know what he's doing because he was in B. He's dropped back to C for the, for the moment. Um, but this was his, um, uh, yeah, crit. This is a crit. Uh, the Glasgow crit. Thank you. And it's uh, part of Zwift Games. <laughs> that is not how you mispronounce that course. <laughs> that is not the correct mispronunciation. <laughs> No, God, I'm never like... going to live that down. Okay, so we're, I think we're here. We're, we're about 1.7 kilometers to go. And you can see, yeah, you can see Cadman's already sort of in the red. Um, he's struggling. But oh, he's one of the key well. indicators that is in the red is because he starts biting his shirt. I think he goes yeah. for a shirt bite in the red. <laughs> <laughs> that that and he doesn't even realize he's doing it. Yeah. Um, so he's sitting in the front group. He's probably sitting a little bit too far front, but it's a little bit punchy around here, so I'll forgive him for that. Um, comes around the left hand of the kick. And we've got roughly, what, about 20-odd in this front group? 18, 20? So it's a perfect group to come home in. He's got the uh, the Van Boost. The Draft. Van, Bo Van Boost power up. Yep, the Draft, thank you. And you can see a bunch of other riders of using theirs. He's doing, the the doing the shirt by in. He's doing the shirt by in. He's got that pained look on his face too, and he hits the he hits the Draft Boost now. At the Absolutely the wrong, oh. the wrong time. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. Coming Shocker. into a downhill, yeah, unceremoniously yeah. dumped it. He doesn't yeah. even need to pedal. No, he can just stop right now and he'd be fine. Anyway, he comes oh. around, got that right hander, and then we've got that little kick to look forward to. You can see the head's dropping though, the shoulders are hunched up. He's certainly not enjoying this race too much. His heart rate's so high. Yeah, it always is. Yeah. It starts off higher than mine finishes. It <laughs> he's, a young rooster. he's a young rooster though, he's okay. So here he goes. He starts pumping it. He's trying to pull half a Swifty here, but it's not quite right. Um, and he should be continuing that kick and pushing forward now. And this would have been about the time to, to drop that dra the draft boost. Oh, he could have dropped it at the bottom are. of the kicker. Yeah. yeah. It lasts like all the, the way. Guys are doing now. Yep. But then he thinks, oh, I'll still give this half a turn. Stands up, gives it a bit of a punch, and then sits down again. Stands up, oh. sits down. <laughs> and if he'd only just stayed on the pedals, I think he would have... Um, or if he'd had the truck. Oh. Yeah. The effort's yeah, yeah, yeah. impressive, though. Absolutely. Some... His determination is always yeah. awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. yeah. But, so, oh, overall, man. Overall, if it's still you... good. Uh, it's the fake. <laughs> it's a fake Swifty. <laughs> He could have it. <laughs> if he put all that power in earlier, or yeah. it just start the truck or anything. I think yeah. there's like four yeah. different ways he could have won. If he'd done anything except what he did, he probably could have done a lot better than that. <laughs> so, Kevin, thank you for letting us use that video. It's good to have uh, the roast back on. Um, yeah, good if sport. anyone does have any other videos where they've either done something completely boneheaded or uh, they've completely lost the plot. Um, send them through to us. We love having a look at those. It just shows everyone else that, uh, yeah, n we we don't always get it right, and um, it's always good to see when someone else gets it wrong. That's right. Oh yeah, I forgot. Do you remember mine from this week where I lost the plot? I forgot about that. Oh, which one was that? Uh, Sand and Skies. Uh, yeah, tell me about it. Just remind me. So I've done this race. I've done this race at the exact same time the week before. It's the EMU Japan race, and it always goes a bit crazy, very spicy. Like we were going for a minute at 500 watts or something at the start, trying to get a breakaway, and it obviously didn't work in the desert. And um, 
then but you've got plenty of time to recover so you sort of think ah go on i might as well try and um i didn't make a go for it over the over uh titans like i normally do because it just seemed too big a group and then but a little group did get away actually actually after the comp you know on that um little there's a little bump uh but anyway it all came together for a sprint and for some oh, reason yes. that's right yes yeah, with yeah, so I'll just play from there, there I suppose. Go. Or maybe a bit further on. But um the sprint was left very late, which I needed it to be kind of oh no, I couldn't go. I would normally would have went a bit earlier on my own. I would go at two hundred and eighty meters, but no one went for it because I had the truck and I knew other people would have the arrow. I had to wait for them to go basically. So as soon as I saw two of them go, uh I start my sprint. Uh, yeah, it's very late. It doesn't go till I was like, come on, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> so, um, yeah, a couple of them go. I get really good draft. Um, the chicken as well, you, right yeah. in their wheels. And then when it gets to about here, I just looked away and I thought, oh, they've got the arrow, they've got to win. I'll stop sprint, uh... I'll stop pedaling, and I stopped pedaling completely. <laughs> And so I only close. lost by three hundredths of a second. <laughs> so close. Three. If I just steered into the corner, <laughs> or I'd kept the power down, I would have had it three hundredths. Can you turn this out? Uh, so but... Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Came off the power. Idiot! <laughs> <laughs> well, he's throwing him the Oh, yeah, no, that was a, it. Was oh. an angry sprint, and he's just not happy at all. Idiotic. <laughs> <laughs> the angry. I was very happy with him. The angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So there you go. For those who are watching, even uh, the, even the best of us get it wrong sometimes. Oh, and that's a reminder. Yeah, so you if you're um, watching, if you listen to this on your favorite podcast channel um, and you're wondering what we're talking about, head over to our YouTube channel at In The Drops and then you'll get to watch uh, the videos that we're watching and talking about and uh, you can uh, see what uh, we're referring to. So there, there you go. I'm still going. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. And then it became a, it became a still rant in a way. Angry at yourself, being angry. Oh, well, yeah. Post race rant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like I like Georg's comment, the angry kaboom. I think we should coin, coin that thing. <laughs> angry kaboom. Yeah. The angry kaboom. Yeah. yeah. That's that's his new moniker now. Yeah. He's got the kaboom and then the angry kaboom. Yeah. It's still. It's still. I mean, like, it's still second, man. It's still pretty good. Oh yeah, I mean, I don't mind coming second. I came second in the race after this, and it, yeah, it was great. It was a real, I really enjoyed it. I, I thought I did my best, you yeah. know, and I was delighted. But um, you know, it just, I just did. You know, you can win and be disappointed, can't you? You know, but yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I've been happy with ninth before, but you know, I just knew I didn't do my best in the. You know, I panicked in the moment. I could have steered in. I could have kept pedaling. I would have won. Oh, yeah. man, my excuse book is long and thick. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Five volumes. I mean, yeah, it, that's right. It, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had one in yeah, the Yeah, Sam Zwift, was watching it live. I had one the Zwift Racing League in my first B1 race where I, I just came straight out of C, straight into B1, because that's the obvious transition, isn't it? Um, <laughs> and I was in the front pack coming into the first race, telling all my teammates, don't go early, don't go early, don't go early. 700 metres off I go. Absolutely. <laughs> I, finish. I think I got beaten by people in the pack behind. It was terrible. <laughs> Just, You're providing yeah. that lead out for them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was all I did. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, guys. I think we're going to... It's just time for our quiz. Let's do a quiz, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, hi. All right, uh, mm -hmm. so let me um, key this one up. Now, Rob, this was, uh, you did this one, yeah? No. Simon Jenkins, Simon, Simon Jenkins, Simon oh. Jenkins, Simon Jenkins, Simon Jenkins. So that means Simon. He, can't, he can't try to defend his title from last week. That's right. Simon, um, 
Oh, so I forgot to. Come, yeah, that should be a rule, shouldn't it? If you win the quiz one week, you've got to design the one for the next week. <laughs> it's the same as that. <laughs> That's a good idea. Um, yeah, so Simon did it mainly. I I have had a look, so I won't be able to take part. I, I, I amended have... some of the questions because he is a bit of a, a connoisseur of these with YouTube universe. So right. uh, there was, I mean, there's still a couple in there which are pretty tricky, but um, yeah, I've made it a bit easier. And so I know all the answers, so I can't take part. Okay. Well, I can though, because I've not looked at it, and I'm joining now. Um, for those. So that, you claim? Um, yes. No, I haven't looked at it. No. I've... <laughs> I. Uh, this will be. This will be good. Um, so for those. Have you done the quiz home... before, David? I haven't. No. Oh, you haven't. Yeah. Why not? Come on, never... man. Well, let me tell you how to join. So go to www.kahoot.it. Uh, you've got the game pin on the screen there, enter that in, or you can scan the QR code on the right hand side, uh, jump in, uh, enter your name, choose a, a funny character, if you've got one. Oh there. wow, look at all these people in the quiz, yeah. Yeah. 13 in the quiz, wow. God, I want to get some prizes you know, we have had 13 before, is 13 the maximum or something? I think because... th maybe we've had 14, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get more. Gap B, who do Gap B is? Old Evo, yeah. Jelly McTee. MDVP, MVDP is back. Hi, yeah, Derek we Ivy. Every day's with the Marky Mark, Nathan on the River, Francis, Cadman cycling. Thank yeah. you, Cadman, for being a good sport. Oh, yeah, JC's here. Much. Yeah, yeah. Puddle, um, oh, here we go. DJ and Matt. 14. 14. Yay. Let's go, we baby. We still don't know who um, MVDP, uh, Matthew Vanderpoel is. MVDP. Oh, that's yeah. my fault, yeah. That's um, like the, uh, what's the, um, the one that was on the, uh, wow. What was that bloody car show that used to be on the um Oh the Stig. The Stig. That's like our version Stig. of the Stig. Oh, <laughs> but we don't know who it is. Uh, yeah. Well we know who well just um Georg's just told us that he's um Gat B. Ah. Oh, there we okay. go. Yep. All right. Uh, oh Georg get the let's, bike, of course. Yep. And uh let's crack into this. So I'm gonna try and uh, do all this and uh, not mess it up. So one second while I make sure I've got the right things. Yeah, I do. All right, first question. Okay, so you do you need I, I'm yep. I'm the quiz master. Stop it. All right. How well do you know your Zwift in YouTubers? So you will need another device, and it is yet more points the quicker you answer. So the first, most of them are are picture questions. So which Zwift in YouTuber might this be associated to? So slow reveal, but uh, yeah, the earlier you answer, the more points you'll get. Oh, Quite a big channel. Yeah. Good, good question. Mm. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Everyone's that's Ooh. pretty, pretty high. Answer there. Yeah. Uh, what's Thanks he called? Voice. Max. Max, who yeah. does the what life? Yep. Watch, uh, drinking his coffee on these thumbnails. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Good one. All right. Uh, next question. Yeah. Yeah. You t you tell me, Rob. <laughs> I, good. <laughs> well, good go. I don't know. Do you want? Do you want to take over? I, I don't know. No, no. I, I can know. drive Maybe. it. You just tell yeah. me what to do. Okay. Press the what next button, ways. please. All right. Oh, every day's with the lead. Okay. Oh, but Nathan, Nathan. Oh, the Aussies are. Oh, wrong. Good, good showing for the Aussies. Okay. Yep. Uh, it's only days. Next only question. Days. What is my channel called? So there'll be a picture, not my channel. So who's that? And what oh. is his channel called? Is it Racing for Funds? Like Smashy Smash? Max Swift stroke featuring Max Swift. Uh, Zwift Racing, Graham Strava, or. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I tapped the wrong button. <laughs> How could you press the wrong button? <laughs> I'm tapping the screen. No one's got it phone. wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, stop I, doing that. I did. Yeah. Stop it. Scott oh. loves his little YouTube shorts, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, he's massive, isn't he, on YouTube? Old Evo. Take the Evo's up. He's up. Yeah, he's up. He's up. Evo. Halloween. Plenty of man. It's Evo. Is it? Yeah, Evans. I didn't pick up on it until I was watching one of his FRR races. And he was talking to himself. He's going, oh, come on, Evo. You can do it. Okay, and I went, oh, of course, Evo. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was his teammate. Teammate. Yeah, no. I mean, oh, he can okay. correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what it is. Oh, anyway, well, I let's do move apologize. on, shall we? Next question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, that's boring. Whose legs Ooh. and head are these? Titanium, oh. Ben Pitt, Eric Lee, Zwifty Zwifter, or Nathan Craig? I think, yeah. I think I got that one. With his usual high levels of concentration. Oh, Someone thought, thought it was 
Me? Three people thought it was me? <laughs> Bloody hell, I'm always looking at the screen. I wouldn't do anything so moronic. Whoever you are, remove yourselves. I would never do something like that. <laughs> Nathan, uh, he's always looking at his bloody legs. Okay, next. Good work. All right, sorry. Yep, let's go. There we go. Oh, oh. Five days with Oh, yep. Lockie's Matthew Van Der is doing well. Yep, he's come mm. up. Francis. Oh, Francis? Jelly. Jelly's highest climber, though. Yep, okay. Next okay. question. Which Riffin YouTuber announced that he's going to become a father on last week's In the, Do in the oh, Drops show chat? Was it Lee, Titanium, Ben Pitt, Georg of the Bike, or Ryan Condon? See, I do know his name. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. He did an analysis on one of our Zwift races, and it was one of our 5v5s, and it was the worst 5v5 we've ever done. Not Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember it, yeah. It was bed in the shed, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Titanium we did bed. everything wrong. Yeah, you talking about never being on the front, and your team were just always on the front, weren't they? <laughs> ah, and we, and we got the wrong names, and we paired the people with the wrong people. It was terrible. Oh, dear. Oh, Van der Poel takes the lead. Yep, he's up front. Racing Pro, occasional Zwifter. Who is this? This is going to be a slow reveal. Oh, phew. I thought it wasn't going to reveal at all for a second. <laughs> <laughs> on a factor bike. Oh, we should have... Uh... Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't have gotten that one, that's for sure. Oh, really? Yeah, it's quite often. In, it's an A, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, Cameron's moving up. Oh, come on, Cameron. Yes. Get some Make redemption for a uh, yeah, shit race. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, an everyday drifter. They have race a few times. I can't remember who's in the lead. What channel might you see one of these on? What is it, though, first of all? Ooh. Oh, it's a grabby grab. It's yeah. a grabby grab thing. Who uses a grabby grab thing? No idea. Who uses a grabby grab thing? Yeah. Well, yeah, Eric. Eric. But uh, it is a, a really good device to have to grab your towels mm. and so on if you've just left them out of reach. Yeah. Well, yeah, especially idea. if you drop them as well. Mm. Oh, Matthew Van der Poel's. Uh, yeah, he's back up. Streaking into the lead. I think I know who it is. Yeah. Got, we've got to find out. We've got to find out. Oh, I think I me. know. Message me privately, so just so I know. All right. Okay. Well, How many we got to go? Number seven, yeah. Seven, yeah. What is my name, as per Oz Cycling Esports Nationals? Is it Chuck Berry, stroke Rockin' Zwifter? Oh. Dan Carter, stroke Superfast? Michael Jackson, stroke Stay Away? Or Jay Emerson, yeah. stroke Doom Guy? Oh, everyone knows that one. Nice, easy one. Yeah. yeah. He's famous, most famous. It would seem by quiz <laughs> answers far more famous than you or I, it would seem. <laughs> All right, so Matthew is still at the front there and Marky Mark's coming up though. Oh, yeah. yeah. I wish I made the last one double points because it is a tricky one. Who is this Swift legend? Oh, Eric Schlange, Eric Lee, Eric Barnett, or Eric Ben? All the Eric's. That was a never pronounced oh. his surname. Mm. Schlange. Oh, yeah. Oh. No, nah, no, no, he's not going to get it, I think. Too yeah. far ahead. The Brits are, the Brits yeah. are uh, taking up the, the other four spaces, though. All right, next question. Which channel might you see this cycling jersey on? Oh, I know, I know, I know. Oh, I know, it's, I know. it's lovely, isn't it? Oh, lovely, Claire. <laughs> the winner's jersey. Are you serious? Oh. <laughs> like, oh, oh. Are you serious? What? Do you not watch any of my videos? I've just realised you don't watch my videos, do you? Me? I haven't seen that, yeah. that jersey. When did that jersey come on? Oh, it was a while ago, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> but it was all I used to wear, and uh, I used to wear it both okay, okay. actually on me and in the uh, in the game until recently. Um, Oh, yeah, Cameron's there, coming yeah. up, but uh, I think uh, Matthew Van Der Poel's got in the bag, and he one question to go, but it is quite a tricky one. So we'll okay. see. Okay, all right, let's do it. Last question. Who is this? 
Oh, that could be misleading. There is, there's a few people that could be, oh, but I think that should give it away. For those who know, you'll know at this stage. And it is... Daz Carter. Oh, only two wow. people know it. Wow. He's a class, uh, class act. Daz Carter. Okay. So oh, no, has that changed things at the top? Yeah, I wonder. Let's uh, let's press the next button and see what happens. Yeah, I thought more people would go for Mark out of our our group because the yellow sleeves is Lockie, what Mark normally third, wears. Congratulations, oh, yeah. Marky Mark. I think he Mark, held in a Mark, second, uh, of course. Uh, MVP. Yeah. Yeah. The mysterious Matthew Vanderpoel. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know who it is. Congratulations! Clap, clap, clap. Congrats! If you want to do a quiz as uh, as the winner next week, that would be greatly appreciated. Or if anyone does. Yep. Or if you'd like to sponsor that um, segment or any of the other segments we've yeah. got here, and we're happy to um, uh, tell everyone about what you do and what you sell and whatever else you want us to tell, we're quite open to that. Or sponsor our caps. Idea. Get yeah. even new, new caps. We could do the. the <laughs> we could have Please the, the your logo alongside ours. Yeah. That would be awesome. Um, but aside from that, uh, yeah, well done. That was a good quiz. Thank you, um, uh, Rob and Simon. Um, yeah, well done. Mainly so, Simon. Thank you, Simon Mainly Jenkins, Simon. for that. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Simon. Hey, now, uh, earlier, uh, Andrew, you mentioned... Um, so last week we spoke about, um, just quickly as we wrap up, your kids um, oh, yeah. with the submarine. Yep. And I think we've got a little bit of... You... Did I, yeah, did I get some... Here we go. Okay. Oh, so yeah. this is, yeah. So this is our ROV and we have like an obstacle course underwater. Um, we have to go into like a wheelie bin or garbage bin or, and there's a code at the bottom of it. So we're going into that. We're going to find the code for that. Um, retrieve that. And then, so we have a, like a live feed camera that goes from there up to the pool deck. So that's how we get that. And then oh, we've wow. got- Oh, that looked very precise maneuvering. Yeah, and then we've got those little cool. rings down there that we've got to go get, and the cube. That's awesome. Who do you do this with then? Uh, I do this with my kids at school. So, um, yeah, we entered into, it's called Subden Schools. I think you have it over in the UK. They're trying to get it going over there. So Google it and get your school into it. They're, it's pretty good fun. Yeah. Something like um, And so just for those that um, maybe aren't familiar with this, your kids have basically designed this yep. and built it, yeah? Correct. Yeah, yep. So we bought... Have you the, got those that... rings? Did you get them? Yeah. What? It didn't look like you got them at all. That is awesome. That was pretty cool. And then the last part of the comp is to... We, the probe that's on the front, we've got to try and put it inside that little piece of pipe on the side of the pool deck here. Uh, no way. Yeah, yeah. So that's quite hard. So the sticky out no. bit is probably about as thick as a pencil. <laughs> And it's about 30 mils, I think, yeah, diameter of pipe that you're trying to get that into. So just over, a, what is it? Oh. Just over an inch, inch and a quarter. That's probably, that's probably really you're hard to do. You're moving in three dimensions and you've got your and, oh yeah. my word. So that's probably the most challenging bit of the whole thing. But uh, yeah, yeah, it was really cool fun. The kids had a blast and uh, yeah. So. Oh, you got it. Oh, oh, you oh got get it. in. Yeah. Kaboom. <laughs> just like that. So yeah, really good fun. So yeah. Oh, that's that awesome. Was, oh, wow. That's so, cool. Yeah. National and so what's, what's the next um, step from here? Is it uh, onto the finals? Like, what's the progression? No, no, that, that's it. We've won the national yep. champions. Oh, you won um, it? Yeah, yeah. So we won our national champs. And so for us now, it's sort of back to restarting that cycle all over again. So we do a state competition and then we have a national competition again. Oh, that's going to be Oh, we should so get it going in the UK so we can have like the ashes of uh, submersibles. It, it's it's <laughs> funny you say that, Rob, because we do this thing called F1 in schools, like a little race cars, uh, and they do a world's competition and they actually have an ashes competition between Australia oh, and really? the UK in that. So they're trying oh. to get the subs and schools going over in the UK as well to, for the same sort of thing. So right. yeah, yeah, it's really good fun. Wow. Excellent. Well, that is fantastic. What a way to wrap up the show. Uh, so we'll finish up there. Um, episode 44 next week, we have David uh, Kowalski on from the Zwift Analysis Network. Um, so he's got some uh, great videos there. We're going to have a chat with him. Uh, Rob, uh, what have you got uh, on the go for next week? Oh, 
Oh no! I've got a poker night on Friday. Have you booked him for Friday? <laughs> I mean, I told you about two weeks ago. Oh, sorry. Um, right. Yeah, it's just going to be another great race racing week. Yeah. Uh, I think I might try and do the uh, the what you call it, the big spin thing, um, mm. and yeah, catch up on yeah. I want now that I'm back to full health. I want to go back to some of those sprint stages and get a win now that they're doing that makeup week. So, okay, yep. But I've got a busy week oh. at work, actually, so maybe not. I don't, yep. I don't know. It'll be all right. Andrew, will you be getting back on the bike? Well, hopefully, because now that that's out of the road, I've got a bit more sort of time flexibility. So, yeah, I'm yep. hoping to get back on the bike and uh, do something on there at least. <laughs> so, go yeah, and, that'd be good. Go get the Atomic Cruiser using that hack we talked about earlier on. Yes. Sounds like yep. a plan. Yep. And, David, uh, what's your plans for this week coming up? Uh, one 5v5 race, I think, next week we've got planned mm -hmm. up. And I want to try and jump in a race with Rob. I don't think I've raced you, have I? Oh, I'll come around soon, you and race it. Yeah. That'd be good. Well, let us yeah, know yeah, when yeah. That goes, that's going to happen. We'll have to uh, get some sort of recording of that. Yeah. Yeah, we could maybe do dual cameras, couldn't we? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Sounds great. Oh, yeah, David, um, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, it has been wonderful talking with you. Um, just want to say thank yeah, you. Yeah, cheers, man. Awesome. In the stream, uh, all the people, uh, Matthew Vanderpoel that uh, won the quiz. Congratulations, um, Dilly Milk T, Cycling DJ, Cadman. Thank you for your video too. Um, Lee, as always, Simon Jenkins. Thanks for the quiz. June, I saw was in there. Uh, AJ, gosh, there were so many people. It's just uh, Jonathan Huber. Everyone, thanks again for joining in. It does um, it does make it so much fun for us to do this. Um, but that's about it. So we'll finish it up there. Thanks for watching. Um, remember, keep pushing. You matter. Stay in the drops. We love you. Uh, take care. Bye. Yeah, bye.